Okay, this is Nathan Zhuang. Welcome to my presentation to the EEL 6935, the project presentation. My project name is Implementation and the Application of Bare Method and Digester Algorithms in Social Networks. Okay, let's move on to the topics. So, for this project, I'm going to talk about several problems. Those. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my demo pre presentation for the cost project. My name is Nai Fan Zhuang. And my course project name is Implementation and Application of Bare Method and Digestural Algorithms in Social Networks. Okay, so let's move on to the main topics. So for this project, I have several problems to solve and several goals to achieve. Firstly, I want to study Bare Method and Digestural Algorithms. And second, I want to study and analyze social networks and um, many I want to combine the, the algorithms with the social networks so third I want to uh, use MATLAB to demo the results okay this is a directory for the, this presentation I divide them into four parts the first one is I want to talk about the for that checks for algorithm second one uh, talking about internet personal relationship. The third one talk about social network. In the end, we are going to talk about the demo pro uh, the, the demo presentation by MATLAB. Okay. So firstly, we want to talk about the method and the diagrams for algorithms. So then, so what are the, uh, what are them? They are they often the, I mean, the the, the best path searching uh, algorithms kind of like a classification. So for them, they are going to search for the shortest path between the the the, the node and the, the the definition. Okay, so payment for algorithm is a method to find the shortest path from one source node to or as other nodes, it can be used in weighted graph. However, digest through algorithm is a method to find the shortest path from single source to all other nodes. This graph is non-active age cause and will, for, will form a shortest path tree. So, so, so from this we can know that one is from. Uh, source node to other nodes and the other is the single source to other nodes. Uh, basically they need to, they need a graph. I mean a graph that have nodes and links and uh, in national sometimes you have the link value for between the nodes. So with this graph you can then you can use a bare method and extra algorithms. So what why do why do I why do I have to uh, study the bare method and actual algorithm then I have that I can use in the social networks. Okay, so in the social networks sometimes we have uh, people, we have uh, as a as a node and uh, we have to get a friendship with other. So they have the link maybe. If they is very if they are good friend, the link is very tight, the value is high. If they are not a very good friend, I mean, like, just uh, uh, come to across each other for once. It's not like they are very, they don't know each other very well. So the value is low, I mean, the, the link value is low. So then we can just uh, kind of, uh, construct a graph as the graph we need to use a benefit for algorithms. So then we can apply the algorithm to analyze the social networks. That's why I come up with the idea. So then we come up with the interpersonal relationships. Okay, so that's what, what, what I talked about before. 
an individual person, the node. And the, the node between nodes, we have links. Some, some the node between, we have nodes. Some the, the nodes, we don't have links. It, it indicates that um, they don't know each other. I mean, they don't, they are not friends, or maybe they are not family, or I mean, any relationship. Even, I mean, even some are very tired, maybe they are lovers, you know. Okay, so this is the interpersonal relationships. So we, we model it into a graph, then we can use the uh, uh, Benefert and uh, Dijkstra algorithm to analyze uh, the, the, the graph. Then what we want to do is like so. Okay, uh, let's talk about it later. Let's just move on to another slice. So this is about the slice third social network. I mean, it's kind of uh, not not very I mean, smooth talk about six degrees of separation. But what what I want to do in this project is like. If you are one, one specific person, you want to get to know another person, maybe Obama. You want to know him, you want to see him. How can you do that? I mean, I mean, for me, I'm just uh, maybe maybe for me, I want to see Obama. I'm just a common UF student. I'm so far away from him. How can I do that? Okay, but Dr. Stanley Milgram put forward six degrees of separation in 1967. In any case, uh, um, any person, any person, any two persons, they are only at the most six, six hot uh, person degrees from each other. I mean, like six, uh, six point away from each other. What I mean is like, so, so for me, if I want to meet Obama, I kind of met maybe. Uh, I would talk to one of my friend. I think he is uh, um, most closely, most closely to related to the maybe the political um, political committee something. Maybe I will talk to him about to see Obama. I will, I will talk. I will transfer my opinion, my my will, my hope to the person his friend and and. Which he thinks the most possible is that I can get Obama. From person to person, in the end, I can I can talk to even see Obama. I mean, the the persons and most six. Oh, uh, is it interesting? I mean, I mean, maybe maybe you have already heard of it. I mean, kind of uh, not so believing at first. So. So within this, I want to uh, demonstrate the, the the possibility of it. So that's why I want to do this project. Then let's move on to another slide. So uh, before doing the the project, doing the program, I want to classify the social networks. The first three is a network of friends. Uh, we can we can see the Facebook and LinkedIn, and second. Uh, like websites for blogs, you really will use maybe Google Blogger, Microsoft Live Spaces, and thirdly, um, it's uh, instant communication social networks like MSN, MSN, Skype, and if you are in China, you maybe know QQ, I and mean, it's very popular and has many, many more. I mean, not many more, like many, many uh, users using it. Every Chinese have a QQ number. So, in the end, I want to um, demonstrate, I mean, demo the, the, the program by the Meta. Okay, uh, uh, before then, I want to talk about the program, the right? Um, so, for uh, I mean, at first I have I have some uh, restrictions, several restrictions, to uh, like I want to define some some nodes. I want to randomly randomly 
distribute some uh, link values between the nodes and I will give a, a review like I mean like a prevention mode a cause to prevent that some of the uh, some of the links do not have the, the, the value something so and then in the end I will apply the bare method and uh, or both are used digest or algorithm to find maybe I define I define one spot one spot number so that node is like the person like me and uh, the destination name the, the, the node as Obama I want to see him the spot number want to want to find the destination the, the looking forward number in the end so we come up with a graph then I find the the, 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 the optimized the shortest route for it so the first one I use uh, the demo one the total number of people inside the topology is 80 and my spot number is 20 and I denoting it and the star and the one I'm looking for the Obama is 40, is not number is 40, you know, and circle. So what I do is like I I I run the main a program, the function, I got the topology. It's like they have uh, sorry 80 yeah, 80 nodes and have links between each other, but I didn't I didn't indicate the, the links between each other because it's be very complex I mean not very clear for us to review so I just come up with this this side and uh, you see in the right downside there's a star it's a spot it's my spot number and then I will get the pass the pass here so this this part is the, 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 the best part to I want, I want to get and uh, you can see with this uh, how many people do I use like one two three four I mean uh, I can uh, hit my number my, my finger to, to kind of to let, let you see you can kind of feel it by yourself and then I do I, do, I mean I enlarge the number of people so 100 this time and my star number is 30 also denoting a star and the one I'm looking for is uh, 40 denoting a circle okay so this topology and the star is there you can see and I mean people there are more multiple more people so it's uh, more uh, complex and uh, and the parts we get here, it's like you can you can count one, two, three, four, still four. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, for not bigger than six. I mean, it's a car by It's interesting. Okay, so. So I will also write a, I will just run, run a MATLAB to demonstrate. So this is the math function. And then you can see, look at the figure here. So here I use number, number 150. Let's give you, the, I mean, not solve the problem if you want to, to, to count the number. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely no more than six. Okay, I, I won't I won't show the past the past picture this time. But uh, what I want to say here is like something I think about it is like uh, more like a, a good problem. It's a theory that you can prove that no more than six. I mean, it's interesting, but I don't know how to to prove that. I will I will look it up later. So this is the, the demo. 
and in the end how I want to thank Dr. Professor who for his detailed thought for teaching the ACC and helping to do it. Before you reply each of the email which ask questions about the project we can share on said device. They're very helpful to the project because the first I really know what to do. You know, or after finishing the project, they benefit a lot and gain knowledge and experience of social effort. And thank you. This is my presentation.